So, I'm Wrestling Memes, there's a bunch of people around me, they're all wrestlers too, at wrestling underscore memes, I did a live thing, it's just been Wrestlemania, it's been... <laughs> Fuck it! See you later. <laughs> <laughs> You want to play 21? Jimmy, double team, on the way for the Usos, taking advantage oh. of the five count by the official. Just tearing them apart at the, the hips. Way to catch yourself. Thank you. We're on the peacock. We're going to be talking about the hips. of it Morrison got. I think the elbow might have connected, but Johnny Drip Drip might have damaged himself worse than McIntyre. Well, I'm excited to be here. I got some good friends in Philly. Why are you flipping me off? You got second row to flip me the bird? That makes no fucking sense. Yours truly, Dr. Britt Baker, D. N. Good luck on your future endeavors in becoming the AEW Women's World Champion, Dr. Breaker. Let's go back to the ring, guys. Next time I see you, I will not bring fighters. I will bring... You talk so much. You talk too much. Never shut up. I said you talk too much. Oh boy, you never shut up. Bobby Fish on coil. Unleashing right now. On to Tyler Rush. Charges in. One, two. Rita Ripley kicked out. And Charlotte Flair is everyone in the building and around the world. Backstage last time. That sticks with you too. Exactly. There should be no mercy displayed to something. You're in for a treat tonight. He has promised the one from Georgetown, Texas, weighing 240 pounds. Brian Mantell. He said it was devastating. A brand new move. Really, Jay? Yeah, okay. Something I've never seen, he said. Swinging for the fences. He's, he must be setting up for that new move. Uh, uh, the Murder Hawk Monster is on a hop of suit all over him. Yeah, he, he, he's going to drop this new move on me now. I get the feeling. I, I'm so I'm, I'm so pumped. Oh, that's, oh. that's the short arm close on. I did that years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he said he would look at me before he before he did it. So that well, that's be, it. That, right? That's the thing. This but this, this must be it. You sure he's doing it? Oh, he said he would. All right. More. Oh. oh. But that wasn't it. Popped him up and caught him with the elbow. This is, it. this is it, Jake. Here it is, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. I got a feeling, man. No, maybe not. <laughs> so, he ripped you. <laughs> That's Arthur. exactly what he did. He Bring, ribbed you, bring man. him back. He, he just Here's ripped your me. Winner. The murder of Hawk and Monster. He, 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 even worse Archer. he ripped me on air. <laughs> <laughs> well, he ripped you on air, but he didn't even need to use that new move. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Just pinned the AEW.
AEW World he Champion. He kicked out Jim Ross. What are you talking about? Don't have a fit here, Don. I thought he had three. No, look at this. come on. Look at this. This is going to be great. This is absurd. Ridiculous. Oh, oh my God. God. They dumped him. Almost. Jackson. Out of his range. No good. <laughs> There's no rule. Oh, match will continue through the break in picture. In picture. When you order Domino's carry out, get three topping pizzas for $7.99 each and choose Domino's car side delivery. Or your next pizza is free. We'll deliver fast through rain, snow, wind. Hey, what the fuck? JBL and Orlando Jordan are going to beat the undertaker in 17 minutes and 38 seconds by DQ to retain the WWE heavyweight title. Taker then knocks out Jordan with the belt. The ref comes to in time to see Taker hit JBL with it and calls for the DQ and the entire crowd boos the finish. And then Taker rammed JBL into the limo windshield and then slammed him through the roof of the limo. Two and three quarter stars. Let's talk about something that happened here. Lots of people asked us about this during the match. A fan climbed onto the roof with a limo and the roof didn't give way. And JBL believes the only thing that saved that idiot from falling through, which I guess would have been a double whammy because you would have injured the fan and then you would have blown the post-match angle is that one of the people coordinating the stunt had patched the breakaway roof a bit more firmly so it wouldn't noticeably sag before the choke slam spot but somehow when the kid runs across it it doesn't ruin it do you remember seeing that or hearing that and how bad were you guys flipping out in the back oh we were flipping out but also figured that well hell since it was designed to go through it that uh, probably won't happen so <laughs> we're safe it's all good but um yeah, a little bit of panic yes a little bit of panic at that point because there was a part of me that's thinking, oh, shit, man, do I have footsteps on the fucking thing now? But thank God it didn't get it, didn't give way. When people say you could be anything you want and you can do whatever you want, dude, I really thought that was corny until this moment right now. It's like, like I always receive from real saying you could be whatever you want. I could be whatever. I'm a table. I'm a table. I'm a table. And it's no, you can literally be whatever you want. As long as you believe that that's what you are, we're good. I am a table. Door. <laughs> I like the shower door. I didn't even take the fucking door off. I just 
now. Yeah. It's about the hinge and everything. I, I, I'm into that. I like that. You can rip the fucking hinge off and stab someone. You know. Hey, everyone. I'm John Blood. Uh, I play video games with my friends over at YouTube and Twitch.tv slash New Legacy Inc. And I also talk about wrestling and release pro wrestling merchandise and all those goodies over at DeadlockPW.com. You should definitely check out both of those. But while you're here, just stay for a little bit because I am going to be reading from Chris Jericho's very first book. The junior heavyweight style of wrestling was more popular in Japan than anywhere else in the world, and in 1994, the division gained even more prominence when Jushin Liger created the Super J-Cup. The J-Cup was a one-night all-star tournament featuring the best junior heavyweight wrestlers from most of the major companies all over the world. Liger had major political pull and put together one of the best pro wrestling shows of all time. The Super J Cup was technically a New Japan show with Liger as the producer and it was created to be a one-time event. But Dragon scored a major victory when he announced a little over a year later that he would be producing the Super J Cup second stage for RAW. Maybe I should have said war there. I'll say war there if you want to use that when you can. Dragon did a great job orchestrating the tournament and spent months putting together the details. The Super J Cup second stage once again featured the top junior heavyweights from almost all the top companies in the world. Liger, Benoit, El Samurai, Dos Caras, Sinjiro Otani were some of the best on the planet, and Lionheart was now included with them. My first match was against Hanzo Nakajima, and I beat him with the Lion Salt. Hanzo was the appetizer, and the main course was my second round match against Wild Pegasus himself, Chris Benoit. This was the man I'd patterned my career after. This was the man I depended on for advice. This was the man I was going to beat the shit out of. The shit was on. We took each other to the max, maneuvering in and out of European-style holes, exhibiting high-flying Lucha Libre moves, and beating the hell out of each other dungeon-style. <coughs> after a brilliant string of false finishes, Chris pinned me with a pile driver off the second rope. But we lived up to the expectations and put on the match of the night. Gong gave us best bout honors and me a trophy for best fighting spirit. All of the participants in the J-Cup were required to watch the final match from ringside area, symbolizing how important the last match was. A few minutes before we went to the ring, I decided to try on some of the GHB that I required a few days earlier. GHB was a bodybuilding supplement that was created to help you get cut while you slept. But if you took it and stayed awake, it would help you get cut, period. It had the flavor of salty paint thinner, and it was pretty much the worst thing I'd ever tasted in my life. But it did its job quickly, and I was buzzed by the time I walked through the curtain of the sold-out sumo hall toward the ring. I anchored myself to the top rope post across from Benoit, and the arena started to spin. I had a befuddled grin on my face, half from appreciating the experience and half from appreciating the GHB. It was a Japanese tradition for all the members to hold a beer into the air and yell, Kanpai! After repeating the gesture a dozen times for all the photographers, I was starting to feel sick, so I sat in the corner. I bent over to put my head between my legs and watched as the sweat dripped off my head, Onto the floor. Drip. 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 A pool of sweat gathered and I opened my mouth to puke all over the floor of the sacred arena. With my stomach settling, I took a lurching breath and threw up a second time. I felt a little better, so I lifted my head up and stared right into the face of Benoit. He was laughing uncontrollably. Come to think of it, Chris always seemed to find it hilarious to watch me throw up. While standing next to a New Japan official, he'd brought over to show off my vomiting skills. Look at this, Kawana. Benoit said, pointing at me with tears streaming down his face. This guy's got no class. I was sure that any chance I ever had of working for New Japan had just been barfed out the window. Thank you for watching. I'm John Blood, and I hope you enjoyed that the most. I hope you enjoyed it more than anything else you've ever watched ever, and I hope you watch it 14 more times. Or at least I just hope you didn't hate it. Thanks. Uh, and now I'm going to go listen to Judas on my iPad. I become, I become, I become an... Hans Mole Man Productions presents Man Getting Hit by Football. <laughs> this contest is over. Give that man a $10. This isn't a botch menu. But the ball is growing! <laughs> it works at so many levels! <laughs> Smithies, are they booing me? Nah, no, they're saying boo! Are you saying boo or boo? boo! I was saying boo! Whatever game you're playing, it won't work. You can't defeat me. No, I know. 
the ecod. It's not because of any of that. It's because Rome. It hurts me to do this, but I really don't give a damn about you or the WWF. So I'll see you a little bit later. Oh my! No! There goes the belt. And that's the bottom line because the three one six cents so. up. You piece of trash. Let him swim out there and find a damn thing. If he's lucky, he'll find it. If he don't, maybe he'll drown. I really don't give a damn what he does. But last week, you entered the ring in a referee capacity. Cross put his hands on Samoa Joe, the referee. Not Samoa Joe, NXT management. Semantics. Semantics. Do you know what I call semantics? Wank. And of course, if you're not down with that, we got two words for you! Hello, you. I'm Guru Larry, and I welcome you to Fact Hunt. Okay, extreme close up! It's not because of any of that. It's because Roman is a wank pheasant. Brother. Hey, and no one manhandles the bosom chum of Nelson Muntz. Spring forth, burly protector, and save me! Jeez. Uh, hark to the tale of Nelson and the boy he loved so dear. They remain the best of friends for years and years and years. But since we're all gonna die, there's one more secret I feel I have to share with you. I did not care for the Godfather. What? Did not care for the Godfather. Uh, How can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like it. Peter, it's so good. Uh, it's like the perfect movie. I, this is what everyone always says. Whenever they say, oh, Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, I, I mean, you listen. never see... Robert Duvall! I know, I, no, fine, fine actor. Did not like the movie. Why not? Did not, couldn't get into it. Explain yourself. What didn't it, you like about it? It insists upon itself, Lois. What? It insists upon itself. What does that even mean? Because it has a valid point to make. It's insisting. It takes forever getting in. You, know, you, spend, you, you spend like six and a half hours, and then, you know, I can't even get through. I can't even finish a movie. I've never even seen the You've ending. You've never seen the ending? Well, well, how can you say you don't like it if you haven't even given it a chance? I but, agree with Joey. It's not really fair. That, I have tried on three separate occasions to get through it, and I, I get to the scene where all the guys are sitting around on the easy chairs. Yeah, it's and a great scene. I love that, that scene. Not a great in every annual. I have no idea what they're talking about. It's like they're speaking a different language. That's where I lose interest and you I know go away. speaking I'm, Italian! The language they're speaking is a language of subtlety, something you don't understand. I love the money pit. 
That is my answer to that statement. Exactly. Well, there you go. Whatever. I like that movie, too. Son of a bitch! Bullshit, don't go again!